Hey, good morning. It's Ruben Lowing here in McAllen, Texas. Doing my leadership talk early today. The, uh, so I just I got up and uh, ran a two miles, doing two miles. And uh, it's hard getting started because I get my joint stiff joints and and uh, but it, I warm up after a while and the second the second lap I feel pretty good. So yesterday we had the Nationals and Nationals X and Nationals, and we all met for the first time in like a year in uh, at uh, Bernadette Kim's office. And my wife came. My wife, she's got a code number, but uh, she didn't have the confidence to take a test. She's super organized, very uh, strong administratively. She uh, used to be an administrator for Salem University in Salem, Massachusetts. And before that, she was an auditor for the IRS. And she's a, she's a phenomenon when it comes to being organized. <laughs> and and uh, so she, she came. And she had a notebook. She didn't take any notes, but she came and she paid attention. And uh, I had an awake. I had a. I had a breakthrough. Okay. And uh, every speaker had uh, had a point that they were making, and I was able to catch it. Okay. And and writing them down. And uh, part of it, um, I'm prolific as far as putting people in the counter. You know, I know how to promote. I know how to introduce our campaign. People love the heel. Like, pay, they start paying attention when you start talking about educating 30 million families in the next 30 years in financial literacy. And then you promote the Saving Your Future book. We've taught this information at Harvard Business School, Columbia Business School, to Oracle and the FBI. And I got it in a PDF. I can send it to you. Just you write email or get their email and send it to them. And uh, wouldn't it be a good time that I could, uh, you know, get with you? Because they're going to go over some things. You know, you know, they teach six different classes out of this book. And, uh, you know, I can go over with you quick and, and, uh, break it down for you well when would be a good time I could get you on zoom <laughs> okay and then you, then you nailed on that date I had a hard time nailing down that was giving me an issue I got 500 people <laughs> that I didn't do that to right yeah, but it's okay um, see the way you talk to those people is hey have you, have you get it did you look at that book and most people haven't well you know there's like six different classes in that book you know, teach how to how to make more money, where to put your money, how to protect your money, how to get a better rate of return, how to pay less in taxes, how to get proper protection. What's uh, what one of them areas is uh, would be of greatest interest to you? And most of the time, they say all of them. Well, tell you what, let me. And if you go in, you if you go into the uh, workshop schedule, and you. And you find the one that's at the right time and you register them. And you follow up. Hey, did you get a chance to... Did you get on that Zoom? You should probably actually hit them ahead of time and remind them. And then afterwards, you follow up with them. Right? And, uh, you know, and then... You, uh... You always, the, the, you've got to emphasize that we have all these great products to grow your money and protect your money, right? And, you know, reduce your taxation, right? And all that, right? But if you don't have enough money to extra to put away so you have enough, you know, you know, you're, you're leaving yourself and your family at risk, 
You know, if you, if you thought about you know, making more money. And then, you know, and you introduce our campaign. We're looking for campaigners. We're looking for people to teach these classes and, and do these workshops and, and find people, you know, that to do the same thing. And we have a system. See, all these, all these trainings and these workshops, all right, they create a culture of, you know, money-wise investors that, uh, you know, wouldn't you want to be part of that culture? You bet they did. They would, right? And you got to, and people want to be, people want to be in a different culture, you know? Well, you ever ask them what culture they're in now? <laughs> right? And so, you know, this is an opportunity to change your culture for you and your family. All right. And that's, you got to get that across, you know, and uh, you got to be able to hear it when it's being spoken. And you got to make sure you're hitting that point when you're talking. All right. Have a great Sunday.